Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to buy ourselves a, a few more pieces of equipment and hopefully have enough money to get fully set up. Uh, before we do that, though, I just want to uh, let you know, or show you rather, what I've done off camera. I uh, pretty much cleaned everything up from the Tier 2 operation. Um, so, yeah, no more equipment out here. And I moved some stuff around over here. Um, so, let's see, we got, oh, we got to hook that light up, too. So, I put these two pieces of machinery. One of the things we're going to get today is the Nuggetator, uh, and that's going to go right here. And we'll get all that stuff hooked up. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? I moved the water pump and the water tank over here next to the big water tower because we will almost certainly eventually be fixing this. So I just want, you know, all the water to come from this area. So that's been done. And, uh, I was going to say something else about that, but I can't think of what it is at the moment. So let's jump in a truck and I'll show you a couple more things here. I am just really enjoying myself with this game you guys just having fun with it not taking it too terribly seriously um i know that that there are some people that will that do i guess what's called leaderboard so it's like a competition and that sounds like it could be a lot of fun and maybe something i would consider once i get really good at the game but i certainly wouldn't do something like that right now because i'm still kind of a noob but i'm a, a noob that's having a hell of a lot of time uh fun time i should say uh playing the game uh so i am now utilizing our little shed here so basically what I've done is <clears throat> I've placed our mobile wash unit and our magnetite trailer uh, inside of here and all of our tier two equipment I've, I've placed in here too, nice and neat on the shelves. And it was just, like I said, it's kind of fun to do that. Got a couple extra spare parts. We got an extra mobile generator cooler an extra hydraulic hose, an extra wash plant, uh, put the filters down there. And yeah, so just kind of had some fun trying to get all that stuff nice and straight on the shelf. It wasn't too hard to do, but it was a little bit of a pain in the neck, but we got it done. Okay, so um, let's head on back out of here now. And the other thing I tried to do... Oh, I also turned in the, the 400 excavator too. So we are no longer renting that and no longer have to worry about paying money on that thing uh, every day. So I might, like I said, I might just go buy one though. I don't think I'm going to do that immediately. It just depends upon when I feel like we need one. And we need it in such a way that the little one that we do own isn't getting the job done for us. So um, I, I thought about, had considered moving the generator into a flatter area, but there, you know, I want to leave this area open to drive through, even though I know I shouldn't be driving over that hose, but I wanted to leave that open to drive through. And if I put this over here, um, I don't know, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to leave it where it is for now and um, just run with it and then if it becomes an issue later either practically speaking or OCD speaking <laughs> then we'll deal with it at that time uh, this hose here I had a bit of a hassle trying to get it to go underneath the sluice box there because it wanted to go over the top of it which obviously would not be good uh, but I eventually you know um, after messing around with it quite a bit got it to, to, to go under there so that's uh, taken care of too okay so Unfortunately, we have a stupid uh, uh, thunderstorm going on, which means I can't use my tablet. Um, I suppose that tablet is maybe using satellite internet, so maybe that's why it doesn't work during the thunderstorm. Uh, but it is kind of a hassle because the thunderstorms happen quite frequently, um, which means I can't use my tablet and take advantage of being able to. Uh, but anyway, here's what I was thinking. I, I, I grabbed the loader and I, I tried to scrape out some more of this because what I want to do is I want to cut a pathway down into this, uh, you know, into this little quarry here that we've started and clean all of this stuff out. But I think, you know, I, this is a loader and I'm trying to use it as a bulldozer and it's not working too well. So that means, you know, there's one of two things we could do. We could either start cutting into this uh, with the backhoe just enough to get a bite on it with the loader and then, you know, go through that way, which I, I'm going to try first. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to rent a bulldozer uh, to take care of that. Uh, and, of course, like I said, we'll just rent it. We won't buy it outright because we'll only need it temporarily. Now, later on, of course, we'll probably buy a bulldozer, but that's not a priority right now. Now, in terms of equipment... Uh, I want to get another duplex jig and another um, duplex jig sluice box and the uh, miners' mosses and um, the grates that go over the top of that. Uh, so that means we're going to need six miners' mosses, three grates, 
the sluice box and the duplex jig. And then I also want to do another hog pen setup over here too. So we get all of that in place. Now I got to thinking that, you know, we also want to do the conveyor belt, which would set up over here. But I don't know that that's really going to do us a whole lot of good until we can also get a dump truck, which maybe we can. I mean, maybe I can rent a dump truck um, because until we get the dump truck, I think we're, we're just, you know, it, it's more than we really need it at the, at the, at that point. Right. Uh, so the, the first part of this is just going to be, be driving, you know, bucket loads from the loader and just dumping it straight in here. So it doesn't really make sense for me to have the conveyor set up until we can get the dump truck to put large loads in there. And at least that's what I'm thinking. And I think I'm probably more or less correct about that. Okay. So since, uh, since it's thunderstorming out, why don't we, um, pull these off of here and let's just see if we can get a cut going. Uh, so we can get down into the quarry there that we've already created. Um, I'm going to just put these, can I actually put these in here for now? Yeah, let's just put the cables inside of here for now so they're not, they're a little bit, can be a little bit hard to see on the ground, so I could lose them otherwise. So we'll just stick these in here. And then we'll go down and kind of start with the backhoe and then see if we can uh, get enough of a bite into the ground to get the front loader, you know, to, to take it from there, essentially. And then we can actually start throwing that dirt into the, into the machinery, too. Uh, okay, so uh, we can turn this off. We don't need to keep this running here. Um, I'm going to back it up to here, too, just so it's a little more out of the way. Okay. Let's fire this guy up. And we are in drive mode. So we're going to come down here and just take a bit of a nip out of the diggable dirt so we can get the bucket of the loader under it to get it started. That is the idea anyways. How well that works, yes, I know. In a real world situation, I would not be driving over this pipe, but the game doesn't care. And we're just going to pretend like I didn't do that. <laughs> Okay. I have a little bit of OCD, but I'm not that bad. Okay, so we can start digging from here. Let's break the stake because we just do that as a matter of principle. <laughs> um, all right, so let's uh, go ahead and extend the bucket. No, oh, I guess we have to raise it a little bit too. We'll put some lights on. And... Uh, I want to, yeah, I basically want to aim this direction. Okay, so let's just kind of dig that out of there. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's bring the loader over here and we'll put the dirt from the backhoe right in the bucket. That way we're not wasting any of it. Okay, that's probably good. Now, I got to get used to using the keyboard for this since I lost my mouse command. So that's as high up as the bucket will go. We probably don't need it that high in the air, though. Let's, let's put it down there. Okay. Does this have lights, too? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, we'll turn those lights on, too. All right, we'll leave it running because um, we don't want the battery to go down. Uh, all right, let's dump this dirt in. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to go up a little higher here. Oh, you know what? Backhoe's too close, or the loader's too close. Let's um, back it up just a little bit. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. That works. Nice. We might only have to do like 
you know, three little digs or something here. Alright, now, can I also just clean this up? No, not that. Clean this up a little bit here. There we go, look at that. Come on, trying to get my camera in the right angle here. There we go, look at that, nice. Let's uh, pull that in, and that thunder's loud. I don't know, I don't think that's completely full. I think it's close, but not completely full. So now, why don't we switch to this view? There we go, that's better, so that we can really see what we're doing here. Probably pretty darn close to a, a full bucket there. Okay, let's bring this up a little bit. All right. Oh no! no it, 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 it. Getting a little, little too anxious here. Now I don't know. Is this going to take any more or not? Uh, just a little more. Okay, that, I think that's maxed out. But this this should be good enough. This should be enough to get us get us started with the loader. Okay, so let's uh, bring you in. Let's go into driving mode here, and we'll get the backhoe out of the way. Probably just park it up here for now. I wonder how much I would get if I sold this and then use part of the money from the sales to buy the bigger one. The thing is, is we're going to eventually want more than one excavator for, you know, workers and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure. Actually, you know what? I want to keep that up in the air so it's not sticking out and we hit it. That should be good enough. All right. Parking brakes on. Turn the lights off. Hop on out of here. All right. Now, let's go dump what we currently have in the hopper. The loader is easy to drive. Not too not too difficult. I haven't really spent any, t hardly any time on it since the last episode, except for just the few minutes trying to cut. So I'm still kind of noobish at it, but we'll get good at it. We'll get good. Um, nope, that's the wrong key. <laughs> right. The the reason why it's not as easy as it might seem is because I have to switch back to the keyboard keys. Uh, which I'm completely not used to because I all of the bucket and arm and stick action on the excavator I was doing with the mouse because that's what I got used to so I just have to kind of relearn all of that okay so I guess we just pull the tires right up to there and then we use T or G we use G to drop okay looks like that got everything out
So F lowers the whole thing. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> almost ran into our wave table. Nothing's attached to it either, so that would have went flying. Um, the way that this game works, and for those of you who don't know, is if you don't have anything connected to something like that light there that I just bumped into, then it's not anchored, and it'll, you know, you'll knock it around. But as soon as you connect anything to it, then it anchors it, and then you can't move it for anything. Okay, let's put the brake on and lower this with F and G so the blade's going to kind of cut. All right, and then if we move forward, we should be able to scoop this dirt. Look at that. Okay, so uh, T raises the bucket. Looks like I need to back up just a little bit. There we go. And then R raises the whole thing. I'll get used to it. Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to work. So I should be able to just cut right down into that gully. Um, and we can start getting all the rest of that dirt that I missed with the excavator. I might need to move that light somewhere else if this is going to be my drive path, which it looks like it is. So I don't know how, what the capacity of this is compared to the large excavator. Um, I'm going to assume it's probably, uh, once again, double, but, you know, that's, again, just an assumption on my part. Uh, all right, so let's raise it all the way up and then dump it all the way in. So it looks like it takes about two bucket loads of the lifter to fill this halfway up. Okay, so that's good to know also. All right. What if it would be work better if we went around this way? Eventually, you know, we'll have the conveyor belt here, but and yeah, we didn't. We're not running over this hose. It just looks like we are. <laughs> F to lower. You know, I'm generally not a controller guy, you know, a gamepad guy, but I wonder if the, if I would like that better with this. I know, from my understanding, is some people, uh, no, wrong button. Uh, some people use that and like it, you know, so. Okay, I think that's a full thingy right there. Oh, man, I keep hitting the exit button. See, that's because the key... Maybe if I just remap these keys to something else. Yeah, you know what I could do? I could use, like, one, two, three, four for up and down and bucket. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll just get used to it. I mean, I will eventually get used to it. Okay. So we want... Uh, oh, no, that... It seems to me like I should be able to take that back further, the bucket, but I guess not. So, okay. It's like anything else. It's a little awkward at first, but... The more I do it, the better I'll get at it. Now, do we... We pretty much want to be on the right-hand side of this loading platform here. Okay. Now... Uh, uh, there. <laughs> there it goes again. Okay. R to lift. T to dump. No, G to dump. Okay. That only loaded it up 63%, so I don't know. Maybe I didn't have a full buckle load. It looked like I had a full buckle load. 
but not sure. Alright, is this dang thunderstorm continuing? It is. Maybe we better just drive into town and get the stuff. I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep doing this until I, I have a full hopper. And then if we still have thunder at that point, we will go, we'll go into town. All right, guys, we have a full hopper here. Uh, so we're just going to leave all of that there. And I got another bucket ready to, to dump in. Uh, but we still have thunder showers, so I don't think it's going to let me use the tablet. Let's just try it anyways, but I'm sure it won't let me do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's head on into town then. Um, we are... Um, actually, you know what? Before we do that, let me let me just hook a couple things up here just so we can get it out of the back of the truck. Um, but we have $112.9 uh, thousand dollars. And... Uh, I want to see if I can get everything else I need with that money and still have a, just a little bit of, you know, left over because we still need a little bit of capital for just operation. Uh, so, okay, let's get this stuff set up real quick. We'll do the power first. So we need to plug this guy into the Jenny. And I wonder if I can get this to go underneath here too. Let's um let's drop it down here. I'd like it to actually There we go. Go through here. Oh, can I? Oh, I can go through here. Oh, okay. I get I didn't realize that the last time I was trying to do this. That's actually quite handy. Uh okay, and we want this to go oh that wavetable is not going the right direction. Uh, but I think I want this to go around here. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, drop that. I want to turn this this way. By the way, you can rotate stuff by holding down the right mouse button. I, I've learned that. Okay. Put this here. We want the buttons in front. I wish they would have, you know, set the power and the water intake in behind, you know? I don't know why it's not that way, but it isn't. Okay, let's turn this guy this way so the switch is in front. Like I mentioned earlier, too, you know, once we connect things to these, they'll anchor them down and then they won't, they won't move around. Technically, this thing is supposed to be, like, perfectly, well, not perfectly level, but at the right angle, but I haven't really noticed the game caring about that so much. So we're just going to leave it like that. That's probably something that would just be too difficult to implement in the code, I'm guessing. All right, let's wind this up just a little bit and pop it in there. There, that looks nice and neat. Okay. We very rarely access the magnetite bucket, so... It's not really a big deal for that electrical cord to kind of be in its way. You know what, though? Actually, I would, I would like it. No, not you. I would like it to have just a tiny bit more slack. What does that look like? Yeah, good enough. That's good enough. Okay, let's grab the next power cable. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just kind of crouch underneath there because then we can run everything right underneath and it works out pretty good. The other thing we could have done is put a splitter down there, um, but we still have two more spots up here. That would make more sense, though, wouldn't it? We'd have to run... Uh... Nah, you know what? I I'm just going to do it this way. Uh, because of the fact that I can crouch underneath here. If I was going to, if I redo this for whatever reason, I'll probably run one high voltage cable down here and put the splitter down here, but it keeps things down here a little cleaner. So that's the, the plus side. Oh, I just knocked those things all over the place, didn't I? All right. Let's just plug that in there. Um, these are really kind of in the way. I think I'm going to take 
at least one of these back to storage. Okay. Here, get over here. That's good enough. Because uh, we have to make room for the uh, Nuggetator, and I don't know, I don't remember exactly how big the Nuggetator is, so. All right, that takes care of the power. Now, let's grab our hoses. That thing's in the way. And those we have, we connect down here, because I did run a splitter down here for that. There's no small hose water connections up above. So we just do that and that. Nice little short connection there. And uh, this hose is the one we disconnect until we're actually running the wavetable because otherwise we're just pumping water in there and it's not doing anything but going to waste. So we just get to leave that sitting loose for now. I really wish this valve worked, but I, I've, I've not been able to figure out how to get this valve to turn off and on, so apparently it doesn't. But now that these are plugged in, they are rock solid. There's nothing that's going to move them. So even if I ran into them with the front loader, they're not going to move. Okay, so we got that done. Um, and it is still thundering out. So let's take this back to our storage shed. And then we'll just have, we're just going to have to run into town to get the stuff that we need. All right, I'm going to just put this. Where am I going to put this? Can I put it up on top? It's really hard to see. Nah, you know what? Let's just not. Let's just stick them in the corner for here, uh, for now. There we go. That works. What else do we have in here? We got an extra cable. We're gonna need that though. I think we're gonna need that for the nuggetator, and we're probably gonna need another small hose too. So let's just grab those now. And uh, okay, let's head on into town. In fact, I'll just meet you guys at the shop. Okay, we are now at the store. Let's uh, shut this off, pop out here. And we are looking for the Nuggetator, which is this thing right here. 28,000. Yowzers! Okay, but we want this, man. I mean, we, there's no way I'm going to want to wash all that miner's moss and the hog pan thingies by hand. So this is essential. Uh, so we're going to grab that. And let's see, we're going to need... Um, we're going to need a whole nother hog pan set up, except for we don't need the hog pan itself. So let's get the sluice box, the extension, and we're going to need four more uh, of these. And like I said, we already have the extra hog pen with the pump, which it should, it, it should work. I don't see why it will make any difference or not. Yeah. Okay. Because it because it's still going to be running water through there. Um. All right. So we got that the hog pan part of it done. We've got the nugget nuggetator bot. Uh, oh, we need a duplex jig, but we have to get that at the big machine shop. So I don't think there's anything else we need here at the moment. Uh, we we are going to need to buy a trailer at some point, but again, let's let's be frugal about this. Uh, for now. I would like to probably get the electric water pump too, just because then we don't have to bother filling up this with a diesel. So we could sell this and use the money to buy this. But again, that's something we'll do after I'm sure we have everything else that we need. I would like to buy this big light too, but again, that's almost another 10 grand. So we got to hold off on that. We got to get the essential things first. Uh, okay, so uh, we got. I guess we have to check out, don't we? So this is going to cost us $29,000 for all of that. That leaves us with 83.9. Okay. I hope I can put this thing in here. It looks like a pinball table. Don't forget to close. Okay, yep, yeah, it went in there. It sure would have been nice if we could have just bought this back at the claim, but... Game was not gonna, not gonna let us do it. Let's see if we can get this one in, in on top or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's oh, is that actually in there? I mean, 
if it stays, it stays. Let's just let's just pretend we kind of tied <laughs> tied it on to the edge there. Okay. That's funny. These video games are funny the way they work sometimes, <laughs> compared to real life, you know. Uh, all right, now we need to go to the machine shop and get ourselves a duplex jig. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot some things. Uh, yeah, we got We got to get some miners' grates. Well, I don't have room for that stuff anyway, so I guess we're gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to make two trips, but that's all right. We can do that. So we're going to need a duplex jig and another duplex sluice box, which is this thing here, because it's a TDJ, which I believe it means the Trommel to duplex jig sluice box. Uh, so that is $624, so let's buy that. And then the duplex jig is over here. This is going to be the expensive one. $31,000. All right, we got to do it. $31,000 for that. And I think that's all we need. I think that's all we need. How much does the conveyor cost? Just that, oh, 81,000. Yeah, we can't, we're not doing that. Not right now. I don't think we need to right now anyways. I think that's a little overkill until we can get a dump truck. Unless we wanted to, to rent a dump truck. Um, I will think about this just to kind of get us going, you know. I'll think about this. I'm not going to do this right now, though. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, so let's check out. And uh, that brings us down to 51904. And we need to pay for transport. That's 1125. Okay, move the machines. And they have been moved to our place. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, what I could do is we could go back and get the trailer. We're going to need one eventually, and then we could get the other stuff and put it in there and just do it all in one trip. Let's just do it. Let's just get her done. Enough of this pussy footing around, man. We got our pinball machine in the back. Actually, no, it looks like a foosball machine. That's what <laughs> that's what it looks like. It's a foosball machine. That's hilarious. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop out, and let's just go big or go home, right? We're going to get the big trailer. And let's buy it so we can hook it up, and then we can put the rest of the stuff that we need inside of it. Okay, now we're down to 47000 Hey, someone's rocking the trailer. up nice and easy there we go look at that you'd think I'd get a little bit better at this game um, I think we could probably just leave that right there hopefully nobody has to get down this street well they can still get around if they do not that there's any people in this town I'm the only person in this whole town it's kind of a lonely game you know <laughs> okay, so let's see. We need six miners' mosses and three great or grills, and three of these massively overpriced loose box grates. Wait, no, we don't need those. Never mind, we don't need those. Not for the duplex jig thingy. Just the grates and and these. I think that's it. Oh well, here, let's get them. Um, so we need three of these. And six of these. That wasn't too much money. So what does that leave us? That leaves us with 47000 left over. Now, um, I would like to have this big light. Well, here, no, we got to buy this first. Hold on. Okay, now we have 42000 left over. I'd like to get this so we don't have to mess with diesel. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. We're going to go back home. We're going to sell our diesel water pump. 
and we're going to buy the, you know, get a little bit of cash back, and then we're going to buy the electric one. So the only thing we have to put diesel in then is going to be, you know, just the generator itself. And hopefully it'll run out of fuel just because, you know, it's, the game's broken if it doesn't. And still, I, I still don't think my vehicles are using fuel, but I don't know. Maybe they will start doing that now that we're not in the tutorial. But yeah, I think I'd, ra I'd rather run the electric generator and just, you know, sell this and get use, you know, part of the money that we get back from this to help pay for that. So that and then, you know, the, and then the big lights, because I do work, you know, at nighttime. So, well, I don't know. Let's hold off on the lights. What, I, what I'm probably going to do is fast forward the time, at, you know, it, when it's dark and then, you know, when it gets light enough out to see, I'm just going to turn the time down to 1x and, um, and, and just mine during the day at normal time. I, I'm, I haven't decided in my own mind if that if that's, you know, exploitive, I guess. So if I do decide that it's exploitive later on, then I'll change. I'll change my ways. But right now, I'm just kind of doing it that way. And, you know, the devs gave us that option. So an exploit is, by its, by definition, is doing something in the game that the developers didn't intend for you to do. Uh, oh, the, uh, uh, these are the hog pen thingies. I was going to say, how did I get more of those? You know, and so obviously the devs are fine with that or they wouldn't have given us that option. They would have had to set the time at the beginning of our playthrough and, and not be able to adjust it. So it really comes down to how I feel about it. Some of you might think it's exploitive. I don't care. And I don't mean to say that in a harsh way. It's just that I've been making videos on YouTube for five years now and you can't please everybody. doesn't matter. And so at the end of the day, I got to play the game the way that I enjoy it the most. And hopefully the majority of you enjoy the way I'm playing the game too. And that's usually what happens. But I've, I've learned my lesson not to try and make everybody happy because it's not possible. Okay. All right, I think we have everything that we need for now. The only change, like I said, will be that I'm going to swap out the Jennies, but, we, you know, we have to go back home and sell the other one first before we can do that. Um, so I'm not sure at the end of the day how much that's going to set us back, but we have 42000 right now, which is plenty of capital to keep operating, um, and we'll have a little bit less than that. You know, this just looks too jank. Let's put this in the trailer. There. That's better. And uh, so, yeah, I will meet you guys back at the claim, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we are back at the base. Let's go ahead and pull around through here. Break our stakes, because that's what we do. <laughs> and turn this off. Uh, we got to do something different with this thing, too, so I'm just going to... Well, actually, no, I can't put it there because we're going to set up right there. Let's just put it there for the moment, and I'll figure that out later. Uh, all right, so uh, we have our Nuggetator here, and it looks like... Where are the hookups for this? Okay, they're both on this end. Gotcha. Okay. So we just need to run a water hose into that. And uh, let's grab that water hose there. There we go. And then we need a low voltage cable coming in. To the other side so this another uh, again we're going to just run this down the thing now like i said before uh, the better way to do this would be to run one main line down there and then put a splitter on but for now i'm just going to do this and then if i end up you know changing things up later uh, i might redo it at that point but for now we'll just do it this way okay so let's crouch down and just 
walk it right on through here. It seems to work pretty good. There we go. All right. This is all messed up again. Now, let's grab the this stuff here. So this is going to go right there. And then we want the main hog pan sluice box right there. And we should be able to put this hog pan up here. And then we need the small uh, hog pan mats, the mini versions of the miner's moss. Great. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, we will have to bring the sluice box and the duplex jig down here, of course, with the the front or not the front loader, but the um, excavator. Uh, but for the moment, let's drop this stuff off here. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of set it down here by the, at the end of the, the stairs. Actually, it might make more sense for us to put all of this in here. I don't know uh, if I can get all of those in there along with the buckets or not, but I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? There's no gold in the miner's moss. Oh, it thought I was trying to put it in the bucket. Yeah, okay, gotcha. It seems like these crates here have a limit as to how much stuff you can pick up. Well, no. It took all of that. Okay, good. All right, well, let's just set that right there. In the grates, we will put... I'm just going to throw those on top of there for the moment. All right, so that takes care of everything out of here and everything out of here. So we just have to bring the duplex jig over, and we have to bring... Uh, looks like, yeah, we're going to have to hook up power to that, too. And the sluice box. Let's do the sluice box first, and then we'll do the jigs. Jig, jigs. Duplex jig. Okay, we should be able to pop this right in there. Yep, just like that. All right, that was easy. Ah, uh, and then the final step here is to put the... Here, let's get that stuff back up in the air for the moment. Uh, the final step here is to put the miner's mosses and the grates on, and we are ready to rock and roll. One thing we don't have is the dump truck and the conveyor that we had in the prologue. Um, I could... I don't remember how much the conveyor belt costs. I think it might be more than 42. Let's, let's look in the shop. If I could afford the conveyor belt and rent the dump truck for a, a couple of days, we might be able to do the full thing. If not, then we're just going to have to work with it like this for... A couple of days until we, you know, build up their, our money a little, a little more. Okay, before another thunderstorm comes, let's just look at that one last time. See what the cost was again. Um. Oh, actually, no. It's the, it's the machine store that has that, isn't it? Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't think I want to drop twenty grand in that right now. We will eventually, most likely, do that, but not right now. So. Um. All right. So, guys, I think we are ready to start up here. I think we are ready to start up. So, we've got... Oh, let's finish this first, actually. Uh, let's get these out of the way for a second. And we'll get the miner, miner's mosses put in place. Okay, we are done. We are done for now. Um, I'm tempted to run back into town and, and just look and see how much that conveyor was one more time. 
I want to say it was around 30 grand, wasn't it? Maybe, but or it might be more than that. If it's around 30 grand, uh, we could do it. That would, you know, that would still leave us around 12, and then we could rent the dump truck for a couple of days uh, to build up the gold so that we can then buy the dump truck. I'm just trying to decide if that's what I should do. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I need to go look and see if that's what it is. And I'm not going to throw 20 grand down uh, on the tablet thing first. So let's go back there and take a quick look at it before we wrap up this episode. Because I just don't remember uh, what the price was on that. All right, let's take a look at this price for the conveyor. Oh, these are... Wait. Oh, these are separate units. I thought, oh, and that's $81,000 anyways. Okay. I thought the conveyor and this was attached. So we need, we would need this and this. Because this attaches to, to this guy. I think it goes like right down inside of here. Okay. Well, uh, um, so we're looking at 81 and 37. So basically, we need one hundred and twenty thousand ish dollars for this stuff. Can we? Oh, we can rent this stuff though. Um. Okay. So that would be thirty two. Fourteen ninety seven. So basically forty six, forty seven. And this would be another 45, so we're eight, four, nine, so a little over $9,000 a day. We could make that work, you guys, we could. Because, you know, if we set the time on one X for each day, we could, we could probably make that money in one day just to buy these outright. If we rent, if we rent them for you know one to two days, we'll say. <sighs> Just trying to decide if that's the right move. Yeah, you know, let's go big or go home. I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's what we're gonna do. I also want to get this guy too. Oh man, that sucker's twenty thousand. <laughs> that thing's twenty thousand dollars too, but. Let's just hold off on that. But I think what we're going to we're going to go ahead and we're going to rent this. Um so rent we're going to rent this and we're going to rent the the dump truck. Well, wait a minute though. Do we need Yeah, we probably should do that. Yeah, let's do the dump truck too. Because otherwise we're just going to be wasting time running buckets up to the hopper when it can take a whole dump truck load so let's rent that as well okay if you know if it turns out that this was not a good idea you know i can always return them and, and go back to the unmodified version of tier uh, three until we actually build up the money so that's gonna that's just gonna bring our cost is 93 uh, 93 and that's the rental cost per day. And we still have $33,000, which is still plenty of capital uh, to operate. So that's what I want to do. That way we're just, you know, we're, we're doing this right, right from the get-go in terms of the equipment and maximizing our profits as best as we can. Okay, so let's go get this stuff put in place. And then we need to wrap up this episode. And guess who forgot to have the new equipment we just rented delivered? <laughs> You'll never guess who that was. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we are back to have our new equipment delivered. Um, so let's do that next. And then uh, I, I did notice that my truck does seem to start using fuel now, which was what I had hoped would happen because that's the way it needs to be. Uh, so let's deliver this, deliver that, and deliver that. Excuse me, sixty-five hundred more dollars to do that, but hey, got to spend money to make money, right? Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the ranch. 
we might need the uh, the shorter cables for these too. I don't know. We'll see. We can just use the tablet. Oh, did it start thunderstorming again? Or is it just raining? Here, let's run over there real quick and just order four short cables because I'm sure we're going to need them for something eventually anyways, and they're not going to cost that much money. Equipment store. We want accessories, I think. Uh, yeah, we want the four meter steel cables because I think we have the fives. Okay, we got those now. If we end up needing them. And there we go. Nice. Okay, now is the conveyor. Oh, well, shoot. If we, <laughs> if we can pick it up with the bucket. Uh, I don't think we were supposed to be able to do that, but if it's going to let us do it, then, whoops. Uh, yeah, that's a little jank, though, isn't it? Okay. Now we really screwed it up. Okay, let's try this again. We want to be on this side of it. I think we should use the shorter cables for this. We might have been able to make it work, but let's let's just not make things more difficult for ourselves than we need to. Okay, we're going to grab the shorter cables here. Okay, so let's see. We want this. Well, it's kind of hard to tell who's who. I think we want this cable here to go here. This cable here to go here. Most likely this one here we want to go here. Steel cable is too short. Um, all right. What about this one? Can we get this other one in? Okay, so we just have to drop this down just a smidge more. Um, or maybe we could drive it forward a little bit and then down a little more. Hopefully that'll be enough to lift it. There we go. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, we got it up in the air. And there she goes. All right. All right, I'm going to just park the excavator right here, and I'm going to leave the cables on them because as soon as we make, uh, let's say about $150,000, we are going to return those two pieces and the dump truck and then buy them outright. So we're going to have to move stuff around again at that point. Uh, so for now, let's just uh, bring this down here and shut off the excavator. No, shut off being the key word there. <laughs> okay, we'll leave the cables on, like I said. And uh, now all we got to do is hook up a couple <clears throat> of high voltage cables to these two guys, and we have uh, three more slots for that. So let's go grab those really quick. Okay, so one cable goes here. And one cable goes here.
And that should do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, whoop, still trying to get used to this front loader. Uh, we're going to load up the dump truck and then load up the hopper and then we're going to start the machinery up and go from here. So let's get that thing up in the air, which is the R key. And see if we can actually get around to get the bucket inside. We might have to go around the other side. So yeah, I'm going to you know, it's going to take me a little while to get used to this. Like I've said, it's a, it's a little different than the excavator. Uh, but it looks like we got all the dirt in there and we're at 21%. <laughs> so I like spit it out here, which is interesting because I have the, uh, I have the differential on. So anyway, I will, um, I'm going to, I'm going to fill this dump truck up one way or the other, and then I'll bring you guys back when that happens and we'll go from there. I'm like completely stuck here though. All right. You know what? Let's put the parking brake on. We're going to have to move this a little further out, I think. Okay, guys, we now finally have a full bed. Um, I changed the controls uh, on the the front loader to something I think I'm going to be able to get used to a little bit more. So basically, left mouse button is down, right mouse button is up, uh, left or forward mouse thumb button is bucket uh, down, and re uh, the rear mouse thumb button is right. So I think I'm going to be I'm going to be able to get used to that a little bit more. Um, then, you know, what the default keyboard controls, because it's just, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's easier for me to do this on the mouse than it is on the keyboard. Uh, so anyway, let's turn off the lights, shut the front loader down, jump in a dump truck and do our first, uh, dump here. Okay. So that fills this up pretty much all the way. Nice. I'll bring this down and I'm just going to leave the truck here for the moment. And let's start things up here. Okay, everything's running. Conveyor's pulling everything out of there. We already had a, a full hopper up here too, so it's still at 100%, but at least it's not uh, going over. And um, let's see what's going on up here. So that bucket's 2%, this is a 2%. Everything seems to be running at 2%. Wait a minute, though. We don't have water running through here. Something's not right. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, 
Oh, we have to turn the water on, duh. There we go. Now we got the water running. Uh, I need to, we need to do that exchange for the electric pump too, but I think we're going to just stick with the diesel one for now because my capital is getting pretty low. Now that's starting to go down, but okay, cool. So these are at 5%. Yeah, see, it's already 99, 98. It's just because I had already filled this up first. But it'll eventually, it should eventually catch itself up. So let's just let it keep going here. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, we shouldn't. Let's stop. Let's stop this until the hopper catches up because we are losing pay dirt. I'm sorry, until the shaker catches up is what I meant to say. Say we'll let it get down to about 70 and then we'll start up the start it up again. Why does it keep telling me that? I don't know. Here, let's get this going again. Oh, is it because is it because this kept feeding dirt in and it... Oh, yeah, I bet we lost some dirt from that. Okay, well, I'm new. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> so for now, why don't we turn off the conveyor belt and the hopper. You're already full. You're losing. Why does it still keep saying that? Okay, now the shaker's done. I don't know. But anyway, that got us up to almost 20% full. So that so everything down there is 16, 19, 20, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And it looks like the Here, let's jump down here. It looks like 100%. What is... Oh, so do we need to... I guess we need to be running water through these, too. Yeah, because, see, this is not... Uh, this is not catching gold. It's just filling up down here. So that would suggest that we need... Another hog pan pump, and we need to hook up water to them. Okay, I, I see what's going on. Gotcha. We'll figure it out. We'll get good at this, guys. We'll get good at this, guys. But it looks like if everything is running the way it's supposed to, we're going to get somewhere around 20% 20, 20 per dump truck load. I think, if I'm, if I'm interpreting that correctly. Uh, so let's just cut the power on everything at the moment. And I'm going to have to go get another hog pan pump water one like this and we're just going to have I, I think we're just going to have to run two hoses from here to there which means looks like we might need another splitter for that to work too which we can do um i all uh, or we could run another fat hose because we still have some more room on the splitter over here let's turn the pump off So probably what we'll do is we'll run another fat hose off of here. Down through here and get another water splitter. To And get another... Uh, we need another one of these hog pans so we can put water behind it. Because this one obviously isn't working right. And then once we do that, we should be in business, I'm thinking. Okay. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, uh, I'm going to get this fixed up, get it running um, like a well-oiled machine, spend some time on the front loader and get a little bit more used to it. But the idea here is that we're going to cut into here 
so that we can get all the rest of that dirt out of there. Now, I never drilled over on this side, so I don't know how good this gold is, but at this point, what's kind of in my mind is we're going to mine this entire parcel out, I think. Um, and so if that is the plan, it doesn't kind of really matter where we go. We're just going to do the whole darn thing anyways. Uh, but, you know, as always, I reserve the right to change my mind because I do know where the, the better spots are if I decide I'm not going to do it. But for, for the moment, the plan is to mine the whole thing out. So that means we're going to cut into here. We're going to clear all of this dirt out of here and make ourselves a nice big quarry and then you know from there start i guess working that direction i'm not really sure exactly how that's all going to turn out because i'm still figuring this game out but i'm sure having a lot of fun playing it and i hope you guys are having a lot of fun watching uh this noob learn how to gold mine in a gold rush so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye